What did you see went wrong? Um, you know, they were obviously stacking the box. They had a lot of guys in the box. Um, you know, we had some gap scheme plays that were working early in the game, uh, and then they just started just cutting us in the in the hole. The guys that were pulling around, I know, Pat and you know some of our tight ends, they were just they were just cutting them right in the hole. So there was just nowhere to run the ball. Um, and then you just you know we, we got to play better. Um, we, you know we didn't we didn't play as good as as good as we are. So you just you know I'm not trying to place any blame anywhere, but everybody could have done things better. You know. We're, we are a team. We win as a team. We lose as a team. So we all claim responsibility. And the offensive line, obviously, four returning starters, played like played great last year. How would you say you played this year? And, and if you haven't played your potential, why? Um, we played good at times. We played we played bad at times. Um, you know, there, there's there's kind of been some up and downs. Um, you know, as as to why, I think if if we knew why, we we'd fix it. Um, so I. It's, it's kind of a tough question to answer because, you know, if I knew, Coach Warner knew, you know, kind of what was going on, you know, we, we'd implement whatever it is and, and fix it. So, you know, it's, it's tough to say. There's a lot of talk uh, about what Zeke said mm -hmm. after the game. Um, I guess we could debate whether that was the right place to do it. But what he said, did it need to be say, said, would you say? or? I mean, I think, thought? you know, I think as – as football players, people always say, "Oh, just just go play," but you know you are allowed to have opinions. Um, you know, I, I don't necessarily agree that that was the time or place to say those things, but you know he is he is allowed to have an opinion. He, he voiced it. Um, you know, I think it came off a little harsh, and I think people kind of quoted him and made it sound a lot worse than it was. Um, but you know, Zeke's Zeke's one of the main reasons we won it all last year. You know, he's I know from being around him and him being one of my friends that he's given everything to this program. Um, so I think he's allowed to voice an opinion. And I know he's, you know, talked to the coaches about that. And, you know, I mean, he's, he's fine. Was that frustration coming out, you think? 100%, and, yeah. And where is that with the rest in, in the room? Is that frustration also there, you think, or not? I mean, I they asked me to do media, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it uh, because I was I was frustrated too. Um, and I just, I just didn't want to put myself in that situation. I just wanted to go be around my family, the people I love. Because, um, you know, people say, oh, you guys are being sore losers. Well, well losing isn't fun. Um, and you don't have to be happy about it. Uh, so I, I didn't even want to do media. But. I mean, I think it'll kind of light a fire under us, the fact that we did. And um, you know, we, you know, we didn't play well. So underachieving in a game, um, you know, you just you just hate to see that. So I think that'll kind of, you know, hopefully ignite a fire under some some guys, um, the whole team. Uh, and then this is a huge game, and I know nothing would make me feel better than winning. You know, my fourth pair of gold pants, um, going up there and beating them in their place. Um, so I think getting a win. And a big win at that is the best way to bounce back from that and kind of, you know, kind of show what this program is about. You know, if, if we can't handle a loss uh, and, and get better from it, then, you know, what are we what are we doing? Taylor, Taylor when you, you got with the national championship ring, four pairs of gold pants, though, how, how big a deal is that, that that these seniors can end your career and say we never lost to Michigan? I mean, I think that'd be – That'd be huge. I know when I first came in, I, I kind of I told my dad I was, I was like that'd be be really really cool to to leave here like that because and I've seen I've seen videos of of you know former players here um, in the NFL and they'll that'll be a point of trash talk for them if they didn't win four pairs of gold pants. So you know my my four years here you know the the rivalry kind of transcends that but you know for me to be able to say that you know our class did our part in winning four of those games, you know, I, th I think that'd be huge. I think that'd be everything. And, you know, regardless of what their record has been, it has truly been a battle every single game. We've had close games every single year. And them having a big year and, you know, having a good year this year, um, I think that'll make it even even better if we're able to kind of cap off our senior year, our regular season, with a win up there to get our fourth pair. Take, Taylor, when you guys go back to basics with this offense, what does that mean to you? What, what, 
if y'all were to go back to the default setting, what what is this offense all about in your opinion? Uh, downhill run game. Yeah. And that's sort of what Zeke was referring to on Saturday when he was talking with us and stuff. You mm-hmm. referred to that last week when you were talking with us about how y'all were campaigning for that in the second half against Illinois and you got it done and stuff. Yeah. Where, where do you go as a team and offense from there, you know, you knowing what y'all are all about and Zeke voicing that and and it maybe not getting, for one or another word, called that way and stuff, but do y'all have some, does everybody on the offense have some like sort of, like you were talking about some soul searching to do this week to find that? Uh, what y'all are good at? I mean, what? What? I mean, we, I, we, we know, we know that we're good at that. Um, and I, I mean, you know, the the drive where we drove down the field and scored yeah. um, this past weekend. That's that's kind of what we did. Um, I think our downhill run game uh, with with tempo, we're we're really good at that. But it's just not something you know you can do all the time. Yeah. There's extenuating circumstances. You got to get, you know, you got to rotate some players in at different receiver positions, or you know, maybe Zeke needs a blow or something like that. Um, so, you know, we have coaches that get paid a lot more money than me to kind of get our game plan going. Um, so, you know, I, I trust in that and I, I buy into what, what they call and what they, what they tell us to do. Um, so, at the end of the day, you know, there are things that we know work, but there's probably a bigger picture. Yeah. And I know there's a bigger picture because there's people up in the press box gathering all that information and, you know, telling us what will and won't work. Um, and at the end of the day, it all comes down to execution. Um, if, if, if there are plays that should work, but they aren't, it could be because of execution. It may not necessarily be a poor play call or something like that. So, mm-hmm. you know, it's, it's not like responsibility falls on this guy, that guy, this coach, that coach. You know, as I said before, we, you know, we win as a team, we lose as a team, so we all claim the responsibility for it. You've the mentioned past, lobbying were, coaches and- in game for certain kind of plays. How much is it a discussion not on game day? What? Coach Meyer says he's open to feedback. Yeah. You've said you've lobbied coaches during a game for yeah. certain types of plays. How much do you talk to them when it's not a game day? Not a game day? Oh, I mean, I, I've been in there today and, you know, talked to them. Do they seem it. more open then now that Zeke has kind of gone open with what the concerns were or no? I mean, they've, they've been kind of open to things all year, I know. You know, I've I've gone in there and talked to them about different types of things we should do with protections, and they've implemented some of those things. So I think you know, if you are a player who's contributed heavily, um, they kind of respect your opinion, and they they will hear what you have to say, whether they'll make changes or not. That's up to them, because you know, ultimately they are the coaches, and they know a lot more football than I do. Um, but yeah, that 100%. If you are a guy that is you know contributing, doing things the right way, they will listen to you. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean they, they will do it, but they have done it. So, Seldom How much has Michigan Week started with so many questions about the previous game. Does it feel like a usual Michigan Week now? I mean, there were very few Michigan questions asked Meyer either. Yeah, I think, you know, for us it, it is a regular week, but I think, you know, in, in the media world it isn't because, you know, we don't, we don't, we don't lose around here very often. And I think that's just a, a huge – a huge talking point for people, um, but we have to move on from that. We can't dwell on that because if we dwell on that, we'll we'll go up there and lay an egg, um, and, and we can't do that. Um, we just simply can't go up there and do that. How much Taylor, of a standing influence, or whatever you want to call it, is JT Barrett at quarterback for you guys right now? Even coming off this kind of situation, uh, what was he conversations with him like Saturday or Sunday and stuff? And what I don't know, I mean, what what's a feel good for you going into this game with him at quarterback? Um. You know, I, I think the thing with me is JT is always gonna, he's always gonna keep his cool, be confident, and um, you know, I actually, I actually watched his interview after the game, and um, I think, you know, he was, you know, very cool, calm, and collected about it, and kind of said that we, yeah, we, we lost the game, and we have to move on from that, um, and we have to get this next one. Uh, you know, like I said, we can't dwell on that. Mm-hmm. Um, we have to move forward, and I, I think he, he knows that, he gets that, and. Um, you know, at practice yesterday, you know, we, we just put it behind us and we went back to work. Taylor, what is it like playing in a program, though, where the standard is win or else, where it is perfection, where that's how y'all are judged? I mean, next mm-hmm. year, if y'all go, if you're on a team that goes nine and seven, you're going to be feeling pretty good, probably. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, what is it like to be in the middle, of, to be inside on, in, in that kind of a pressure kind of situation? Not every college is like that. Yeah, and um, I think. 
I mean, that's that's kind of what you what you come here for. Um, you know, I don't think a lot of kids coming out of high school want to go into to programs where you know losing five games is okay. Mm -hmm. um, you want to win, and you know, it's it's just it's it's tough. It can be stressful for sure. Uh, because there are such high expectations, but that's what we come here for. And um, I think that pressure can yield great results. Um, and, it, and it has, you know, we've, we've had some historic years here and we've, we've broken a lot of records, won a lot of games, won a national championship. Um, and I think, you know, that pressure and kind of the coaches keeping you uncomfortable, um, it kind of, it just, it just makes you better players. And like I said, it, it yields great results from, from not just you individually, but as a team. Taylor, last a, lot, a lot is made around here by taping over the M's on signs and whatnot. Because uh -huh. the word Michigan. When you hear the word Michigan, what comes to mind? Well, I mean, I think, I think of the rivalry honestly because, like, I'm here at Ohio State, and you know, it's it's something that transcends just me and you know my teammates being here. It's it's a lot bigger than that. Um, you know, there are people before us. You know, it it both our program and theirs. That, that made this the greatest rivalry ever, um, and I think it's kind of kind of our duty uh, to kind of keep that going, keep that tradition going. Um, you know, us up here trying to win and win every game we, that we have against them. Um, I think if if we sold it short, we'd be doing a disservice to all the players and all the greats that have been here and there. Um, so we have to do our part to keep that going.